What are the Via Cave? Some people call them sacred ways. They're deep passageways cut through volcanic tufa. They're not tunnels because the top is open to the sky. There are scores of them, all in the area around the hill towns of Pitigliano, Savana and Serrano in southern Tuscany. The Via Cave were made by the Etruscans who flourished in central Italy while Rome was still a village. They probably date from around the 5th century BC. Now this is I think lovely because you can see the curves of the parapet on the left and the right and you can see how narrow it must have been at the top because those curves would have continued up. It would have been really dark down here and this is the original width at the bottom anyway of the Via Cava and you can see the drainage channel on the left hand side. These are not practical ordinary roads no one knows for sure what they were for. They don't go the quickest way from A to B. Instead, the Via Cave meander through the landscape in a way that prompts a lot of speculation. Were they used for ceremonial, ritualistic or religious purposes? For processions? Yes, because to go to all this effort just to make a road no. Doesn't really make sense. Does it? And of course, Romans made straight roads, like in Orvieto, via Tamburino, is absolutely dead straight. So, this is a byway off the main yeah. Via Cava. Often, if you can find a passage like this one that goes to the necropolis, because if you go in that direction, you will find the Etruscan tombs. This is a sacred road. In a way, it's part of what it's all about, isn't it? To take you to the, to the necropolis. And to think that all this was hewn by hand. Why are they significant? This kind of passageway is unique and they appear to be closely related to the tombs and cemeteries of various kinds built by the Etruscans. So this is a wonderful tomb complex. Yeah, it was enlarged, of course. But it's big, isn't it? It really is massive. I mean, this would have been originally perhaps a dynastic tomb, do you think? Or just a family, or...? Difficult to say, because it's, uh, it's changed a lot, quite a lot. And maybe it was an important tomb. Uh, would it have been fresco, do you think? Once upon a time? Possibly, yeah. Why not? Yeah. And this is the biggest one. This is really impressive. I, I reckon there must be, what, about 2,000 interments here? Yeah. And these um, Columbaria uh, tombs are everywhere in Etruria. You know? These sacred ways have been here for around two and a half thousand years. It's unthinkable that after so long, within the next decade or two, certainly within our lifetime, they'll become impassable and dilapidated beyond rescue. Oh God, and that's really bad here, my goodness. Look at these uh, ads marks, aren't they graphic with the lichen and everything? I mean, to think that's, you know, 2,000 years old, more than 2,000 years old. Could even be pre Etruscan at this point, couldn't it? No, with that number. About 2,500 years. And to think it's just being allowed to fall down. Look here, this hole. It's clear. And that's it, that's it, gone. Gone forever. Tree roots are splitting the soft, tufaceous rock. Water gets in and compounds the damage, causing rock falls. There are mudslides and debris blocking them up. 
quarry. <laughs> That's a good old route. Yeah. Here you can see the trunks of the tree and the roots splitting the rock apart. So in a few years time all this is going to go tumbling down and this entrance to the Via Cava is going to look much less impressive. Well, this is the beginning of the Via Cava, the sacred way, but it's in a terrible state, isn't it? And there is also there's a river of mud here on the ground. And here is the old Etruscan drainage channel, I think so, yeah. but it's all blocked up, so it's completely useless. And this boulder has fallen down from there and uh, this parapet would have been, well, three times as high as it is now, presumably. Yeah. I mean, it's getting wider, actually, it's getting wider. It's getting hollowed out by the bulldozers coming in every now and again and clearing all the, all the rubble out. But most of all, it would have been much more impressive earlier on because the walls would have been so much higher, wouldn't they? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the roots have just eaten away at everything, haven't they? Just worked their way through. Yeah. And the ferns and everything else. It's just tragic. And look at all those boulders there. And then the council will come along and just chop them all up and take them away. In the old days, trees were cleared because the land was needed for farming. Times have changed and this no longer happens. Nature's taking over. More mysterious. And this boulder has come from where Giovanni is there. There's the roots that have caused all the damage. And up there, that lot's going to come down shortly. Yeah. And then, I mean, in a way, the boulder here is quite impressive because at least you can see, you know, that's the old wall, the parapet wall, but in a few years time, or maybe in a few months time, they'll come in here and break it all up and that'll be gone, it'll just be, there'll be nothing. And this is just packed earth, isn't it, yeah. And then, that height up there, that, this would be about 20 metres, wouldn't it? So this would have been really impressive, yeah. and, re and much narrower, which would have made it darker, more mysterious. Yeah. And here, of course, it's all gone, hasn't it, practically? Because this would have been yeah. a bend oh, yeah, they do. about here, maybe. It's crazy here. <laughs> and it's all gone. Yeah, the, the wall here is gone. I mean, it's a crying shame. It makes you want to weep. Hey, but we are a little bit late now. Today we can save something, but most of it is gone. When I was first here, must have been nearly 30 years ago, I don't know, none of this modern rubbish was here, but the, they were narrower, they were taller. Yeah. Especially here, really here you have uh, 20 meters high, the yeah. walls. And now uh, what's that, four meters? Yeah. Anyway, it gets more interesting as we go up, doesn't it? I mean, yeah, there's still yeah. there's still something left. Yeah. Well, here you can see it's what well, it's fallen in, but it's still what 20 meters. Right. Well, it's amazing, isn't it? God, and it it would have been what about yeah, look, that wide, wouldn't look, it? Look here. From yeah, there. from there. So two meters, a span. Yeah, like that. Yeah and vertical, straight up, if not curving over towards the top. Well, here it's quite a disaster. Yeah, it's really, this is terrible. Well, this has really fallen in. I think this must be from November 2012, because... Yeah, one year or two. Yeah, when we had the floods. What can be done to preserve these unique places? Clearing the trees is vital. Mending breaches with traditional non-invasive methods would help. The tree mound is, this is very old. And now this is how they conserved the Via Cava in the old days, isn't it? Yeah, with bits of old brick to yeah, make everything fit right. 
nice and snug. And this, presumably because it allows the, the damp and the water to come through, it doesn't build up pressure so it doesn't then, it doesn't burst. But, yes. you know, couldn't we do this now? I don't know if they can do such a job without cement. But then you see you revive it, then it gives work to somebody, you know, then you've got to have a, a teacher, then you have you have yeah. apprentices, and then it, you know... It's it, a good occasion to restore the tradition, to restore uh, the, the ambience. Uh, and if you did that, you'd be proud of it, wouldn't you? Because that's beautiful. Oh, yeah. And it blends in... It, it lasts. And it lasts, yeah. yeah. Now we're coming to my favourite place. Of and this is so great. Look at that. Isn't that fantastic? This is, this is just the best. If, when this falls in, that'll be it. Then I'll, you know, I'll go to a better place. And this is like the prow of the Titanic, you know. Yeah. <laughs> like an enormous ship. And you can see it looks like a snake, a eh? serpent in way. Oh, it's beautiful. Ah. This is the most beautiful spot. Urgent action is needed to save the Via Cave. But this can't be done without outside assistance. It needs the support of a wider community and organisations like UNESCO with the power, the vision and the funding to preserve these treasures before they disappear forever. The Via Cave are without doubt the cultural heritage of all humanity.